module number three. In this module number, th module number three, we are going to analyze the lean tool, the lean tools, and how they apply into our jobs. So we're going to work on those tools. And what is what is the main purpose of the lean tools? Well, probably with the previous modules that you have gone through, you have already discovered that everything that we are doing is to reduce or eliminate the waste of resources. And that is exactly what we are going to talk about in this module. Whatever we do that do, does not add value to our product, that does not add that perception of our customer, of the value of our product, the qualities, the characteristics, the form, etc. of our product, if, it, the, if any operation that we are doing does not add those characteristics, that uh, uh, quality, then that is non-value added. And there are many instances of this in your plant for sure. There are, in total, eight forms of identified waste of resources in your plant. The main strategies address each and all of them, in, and some of these strategies that we are going to be discussing here in the future modules contribute to, uh, to uh, apply reduction or complete elimination of those wastes and uh, some of them, some of the tools apply to more than one of these. Let us check what they are. Number one is overproduction. Every single time that we produce materials of, or sub-assemblies that are not immediately needed by our customer or by our next workstation, that is also our customer of course, every single time that we do that, there is waste. The material gets deteriorated, the material is accumulated unnecessarily, we are investing uh, workmanship in something that is not really needed immediately. That's not good. Overproduction is always a very bad thing. Number two, waiting. Whenever we wait or someone makes us wait for something, that is waste. Waste of our time, waste of time of the other people too. Number three is transportation. This occurs every time that we do an excessive movement of materials or products from one area to another. In the design of our plant, in the layout of our plant, we should always be very con conscious about this and bring things as close together as possible. The closer, the better. The easier to handle, the better. Accessibility is important. Transportation is a compensation for something that cannot be close enough. So let us try to reduce or avoid transportation altogether. Non-value added processes are the number four, the, the waste number four. Non-value added processes are all those that put in the product a lot of labor and finally may not be contributing to the quality or to the functionality of our product. Let us find that because there are many of those processes. Some non-value added processes are necessary, I must say, but some others are not. We will learn how to identify those. Then as a number five, our waste number five is inventory. Every time that we have more inventory than we need is a waste of resources, money. Money that is stagnated somewhere, that is not moving enough, that is not being turned into product and into profits. Number six is defects. Every time that someone does some sloppy work, Every time that uh, a part is defective, we are contributing to a lot of waste. Because sometimes 
apart goes defective and keeps going and they keep adding value to it and all of a sudden we have to reject it and that is the, the best case scenario the worst case scenario is when it is the customer who rejects it because then we are losing that sale and probably that customer be careful about defects we have to establish some yeah we will talk about autonomous quality in one of our modules ahead but uh, defects are the result of lack of information lack of uh, conscience about the quality that we need to put in our processes the waste number seven is movements excessive movements when a person needs to go away from their away from their workstation and then they bring the material oh here is this and uh, or need to go get a tool or something we needed to avoid that we don't want people to have to do excessive movements or uncomfortable movements how many times they have to pick something up from the floor or or look for something that is uh, not within reach that is bad because it represents waste waste of the energy and waste of time so that's important let's try to reduce and avoid movements that are not necessary and especially that are not ergonomic and the waste number eight is the worst of all and it's the most popular the waste number eight i have seen practically in every single plant that I have visited in this more than 35 years. Poor utilization of human resource. When we are not taking advantage of the beautiful characteristics of our human resource. And that is so common. That is so frequent, my friends. It is horrible to see people who are, who are not listen to who who come with their intelligence their creativity their sense of cooperation and someone says oh that's not your job let me we slap them and we say no 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 this is going to be done this way because this is the way it has always been done oh by the way the way it has always been done is the worst enemy of lean manufacturing now we want to activate those beautiful features of the human being intelligence creativity sense of cooperation how can we do that hmm. i'm thinking perhaps a, perhaps a little motivation <laughs> yes motivation make sure that everyone in your team understands how valuable they are because they are most of the time people are not really aware of how valuable they really are for the company and that is something that needs to be vanished in a lean environment if we don't do that we are not being good leaders and leadership is today a big need a very big need in our industry okay so the next thing that i need to to repeat for you to to strengthen in this in this uh, module is please analyze that the lean strategy's main purpose is reduce or eliminate wastes all kinds of waste anything any resource that is being wasted somewhere in your plant is hurting each and every one of the members of that organization we are losing money and we all are losing competitivity we need to be competitive in order to keep our business going and to preserve our job security remember that analyze everything that is not adding value and let us try to beat it down thank you very much for being with me in this module and uh, i hope that you will enjoy module number four that is coming and it is all about having a much better place to do our job 
have a much happier place to do our job. I will see you in module number four.